Hi guys, uh, welcome to another uh, Tech Tutorial Day. It's Wednesday, midway through the week. Um, my name is Dr. Ryan and I want to welcome you to another talk. Um, this one's going to be actually, it's a common question we get, I would say almost all the time, is about how can I import my contacts, how can I export my contacts, especially using HubSpot or another CRM. Uh, but if you are in the HubSpot family, uh, especially if you want to bring in your contacts, this is going to be a really helpful uh, walkthrough slash tutorial to help you kind of get, get going. And again, I'm going to try to keep it under five minutes today. So with that said, let's go. Um, so again, the oh, if you ever have questions outside of a tech tutorial or one of our other talks, feel free to reach out to anyone on the business team, Matt, Kimberly, Orlando, or myself. Um, all right, today we're going to cover import, export, manage, and organizing context in HubSpot. It is a really quick one, uh, but I do think it's going to be very beneficial. To be honest, I think this might be our most watched just because it's something we get. We get questions for this all the time. All right, so with that said, we're going to jump into this in just a second. I'm going to slide over. We have a demo account set up. When you log into HubSpot, it might look a little bit different based on your dashboard. The first thing you're going to want to do, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here just so you all can see it on the screen, is go to your contacts, okay? There's a couple different ways to do this. I'm going to show you the easiest one, and I recommend it because it's also pretty fast too. So I would never show you something that, oh, this is much slower, but it's easy. This one's pretty fast, and it's very easy uh, to accomplish. So click on contacts. When you get here, you're going to see a couple sample contacts. Now, I need to go back, and I need to open up one thing real quick here. And that is I have a Excel spreadsheet set up. Oops, I have a sheet ready to go that I want to show you of some sample contacts. So let me just open this real quick. Okay, so, oops, not this one, sorry. This one. Okay, so I've, I have a list here of a whole bunch of contacts and we're gonna make this actually a um, downloadable for everyone who needs it. It kind of gives you a, a jumping off point as far as, hey, what should your list look like? Uh, what type of information do you need and what have you? So it's pretty helpful from that standpoint as far as what all you need. First name, last name. You can add in more, but this is a good sample list to get you going. I am going to file and download this as an, um, you can download it as a CSV or um, CSV, which is a comma separated value. I do recommend that. So I'm gonna download it as that. I um, mean, you can work on it in Excel. Um, I'm in Google Sheets. You can also work in it um, actually as a CSV. I think that's a little tricky. So I always recommend either Excel or Google Sheets. Um, but I'm gonna download once you're done with your data. And we have just five different contexts here. Uh, you click file, download, as CSV, comma separated value, uh, this one. Okay. And then you'll see a download. I'm just gonna drag it to my desktop right now. I know that's not good practice, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna jump back over to HubSpot, and there's really, it, it's very simple. It's actually go up to the top right, once you click on contacts, go import, and you're gonna say, you have a couple different ways. I wanna actually just do a, just a basic import, start an import. I'm gonna try to zoom in as much as possible so that it's nice and full from file. Now you can add an opt-out list as well, which is very helpful, but just click on from file, go down to the bottom right, click next. To be honest, that's the trickiest part is going down to the bottom right, clicking next. Um, and I'm gonna just import one file, the one file I just showed you. This next screen I love is this shows you, oh, we're just gonna do one object next screen, I promise. This one shows what type of data are you importing? Are you importing companies, contacts, deals, products, or tickets? Um, tickets are for services. I'm gonna just focus on contacts right now. So click on contacts, next. You can now drag and drop the leads to your um, actual HubSpot. So I'm gonna just, oops, I actually did go back. I don't know why. Hmm. Okay, give me one second. I'm just gonna walk through these again. One file, one object, context, next. And then I'm just gonna literally drag and drop the CSV I just downloaded onto the uh, location. I'm going to leave this alone, update existing contact using contact ID. That's a little more advanced. I'm not going to go into the, in this tutorial, but again, just click, don't check it in, click next, and it'll start to map your different fields. And this is beautiful. Make sure everything is lined up. First name, last name. It gives you about three previews so you can make sure all data looks good. Check through it, make sure it's all good. And then click, uh, it's, oh, it's saying one field is not ready. Oops. One field is not ready. And I know what field that is. That's the favorite ice cream. I'm actually gonna create a new property and call it ice cream. That's good, it actually puts it in there for me. Um, ice cream description, I'm gonna put um, 
flavor. Oh, select a group. I'm sorry, it needs a group contact information. There you go. So even though it's that's another tricky thing that I always get hung up on. Even though it has contact information selected, you need to reselect. Click next, and then I'm going to say yep, show on forms. I'm going to select the field group. I'm going to say single line text. You don't really need to worry about that, but I just do. I do want to show it in the future uh, if we have any forms. Now everything is good. I can click next. You'll see that bottom field of what type of ice cream that we had in the data is selected. I'm going to say yes, import the contact lip. Uh, create a list of context from this import list. Um, that's for organizing down the road. And I'm going to say that I agree. Uh, this is a demo, but you always want to make sure you're, you're importing good data. Okay, now we have the data coming in. It says your import is being uh, imported. And I'm going to say, it, it give it about five seconds, depending on your data size. If it's huge, it might take a little bit longer. But I'm going to go back to data and go to context. I mean, context, go to context, and we'll see here they're all in there. This is what's beautiful. I'm gonna move real quickly now through the last couple of things and that is just organizing and managing your lists. One of the things I wanna show you is that you can very easily assign this contact owner. So I'm gonna assign this one to Matt, say assign. I'm gonna assign this one to Kimberly. And anyone on your team, if you say, hey, all these lists we met at a conference, we talked to all of them, let's just assign them randomly. You can also say, okay, I'm gonna check this one, this guy, this guy, this guy. And you can actually drop it down to, I want to assign these to Orlando. And there you go. Now they're all going to be, now this is a filtering where it shows you, hey, who has been assigned to Orlando? Right now, no one's been assigned to Orlando. I'm going to go to Matt. You can see that's who's been assigned to Matt. I'm going to turn off Orlando. I'm going to go back to all contexts and remove this filter. So this is how you do all your filtering. Um, and it makes it very, in a sense, quick for you to do things that can be time tedious for a lot of different um, things that you're doing throughout the day. I'm going to click, uh, that, this was the bulk of assign. I'm going to assign these all to Orlando. There we go, assign. You can see these all pop up to Orlando. Now we have everyone assigned. You can continue to filter and organize based on what you want to do, last activity. Um, there's a lot of filtering that is a part of, hey, when do we bring them in? I'm going to say when they became uh, a customer. Uh, well, actually, none of them have been customers. They haven't bought, so I'm going to remove this filter. So that's where, remember to always remove filters. Sometimes I see a lot of people get stuck with, oh, why, where's all my contacts? It's just because you have a filter applied. So there's a lot of things that you just have to remember. One other thing I want to do, and that is an export. So let's say you wanted to export out contacts. You just click on table actions, click on export, and this will allow you to export out that um, XLS or CSV, whatever type of format you want. I always recommend X, um, an Excel type file. And then if you're going to use Google Sheets, bring it into Drive and what have you. Um, so that's the very basics. There's a lot more that you can do. On, I like to actually just always click on my contacts and I can see it filters out all my sales team or whoever you know you have on your in your uh, database as far as users. It can kind of just filter it all out. Unassigned contacts. Let's let's just unassign one. I don't know if you can actually. Oh yeah, you can unassign it. So I'm going to unassign this person and then you can click unassigned contacts and actually give it just a second. It might there we go. So it just takes just a second. I'm, I, sometimes I go a little too fast, but you can see now that user, that contact is unassigned. And then of course you'd want to assign it to someone just by clicking on assign, click it to someone on your team and go. All right. So very, I know I went real fast through that. There's a lot of power in here as far as how you can start searching and setting up your different views. We like to set up views based on revenue, based on what have you as far as your um, different goals for your organization. Sometimes it might be on location. So if you want to set everyone up by the East Coast or West Coast or what have you. Um, okay, so with that said, let me go back to my presentation just so I can close this out. Um, we are still running our free audit. Um, so if you have any questions on, hey, how's my website doing? Can I you know, perform things? What's the low hanging fruit that I can send to my marketing team? Uh, feel free to either scan this or reach out to us and we'll get you, get you going with a free audit. Um, again, last thank you. Uh, I appreciate your Wednesdays taking the 10 minutes to join us. Uh, Friday we'll be having another talk on really setting up your deals and your pipelines. A lot more of this, but really advanced and setting goals for your organization. Thank you so much.